How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> welcome, we're live. Hey guys, so welcome to Saving Throw. We are officially doing our first stream of our four hour event of Pathfinder. Um, we're gonna be doing this live for everybody, not even just our backers anymore, but everybody who's out there because we're all really excited to show you about how to play role playing games. That's what we do, that's what we love. So uh, we're gonna go around the table and just introduce our team real quick, and then we're gonna be running our game because we got an adventure to do today. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, right. Nice. Dom, why don't you start us off and tell us? So not only that, tell us your character's name and what you're playing as well today. You bet. My name is Dom Zook. Uh, I am playing Steve Firebanks, the wizard. Um, he's a level three wizard, uh, and he's awesome. He, awesome. he is very cool, and he has a horse named Mr. Pickles. Right. Mr. So, Pickles. So keep track of the horse. That's going to be fun throughout. As long as you keep track of the horse as well, too, because oh. it's, not, it's not, as my job as GM, I'm not just here to facilitate your story, but you've got to facilitate your elements of the story as, as well, As long too. as I am alive, Mr. Pickles will be under my... Self. Legs. Super <laughs> Legs. Wow. <laughs> Lost steam there. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, my name is Tyler Rhodes. You can call me Tyler Rhodes. I'm be going to be playing a human rogue uh, named Spud. Spud. One named Spud. Right. Very easy to remember. How old is Spud? Spud is 15. Awesome. He has a little scraggly beard and he's adorable. He's a street urchin, yeah. uh, essentially. Um, and really just a cold blooded killer. <laughs> as all street there you are. And just Hi. so everybody knows, Dom Zook is our creator uh, as well today. Um, yeah. Tyler is our head writer. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are, these we're not are... fit for the camera, really. Just ignore this. <laughs> okay. Really not fit. I know. We're pale and adorable. But you're fit Gross. to adventure today. <laughs> yes. Yes. Adventure. adventure. Uh, I'm Amy Vorpal, and I am playing Denida Storm Blossom, and she's a half elf druid. And she's got a companion, an animal uh, companion, Hope the Ape. Hope the Ape. And I, and I call him a gorilla, so. Oh, it's a man, it's a male gorilla. It's a male ape, just so you know. A man gorilla. A man gorilla. We call those man gorilla. gorilla. And it's Denida's male companion, because she can't do any better. Wow, you'll see why. <laughs> yeah, I know. I enjoy it. Uh, I'm Benjamin Dunn. Um, I'm gonna be playing, I play Garthok the Drunken. He's a dwarf level three fighter. Uh, he his companion is is his tankard of ale. Uh, so, is he is he always full? It's always full. It's always full. And just as a pre, uh, just a most kind of, of my weight is carried in wine. In wine. In wine. Wine water weight, as they say. <laughs> um, so as, as part of what we're doing today too, um, uh, the prerequisite that I set for this campaign was is that everyone would be level three. Now normally when you do start your campaigns, you can often set whatever parameters you want, whether it's like you're starting at a certain level, or they have a certain amount of gear. It's kind of up to you, but just to kind of keep everyone on kind of an equal playing field of what I'm going to be presenting today, I wanted to make sure that everyone stayed at the kind of the same place, but let them build their characters however they wanted to. So, and um, we're actually kind of building these off of our, um, our characters that we're running in just our side game as well yes. too, mm -hmm. so yeah. All right, sir. Yes, uh, I'm Mason, uh, I'm playing uh, Korik Sunderdark, a half-elf cleric of Desna. Does not like to be captured at all. Any imprisonment, he's gotta be free. Be free. So what is, the, uh, what is, what is, um, the, oh, I'm sorry, say it one more time. Desna? Desna, what is Desna the god of? Desna the is the god of, of travel. And travel. Just, yeah, being out on the open road, he's a, she's a rambler. Rambler. Rambler goddess. Rambling ride. All right, awesome. So we have our cleric, we have our fighter, we have our druid, we have our rogue, and we have our wizard, all right? A classic companion group of five today. And I am Ivan Van Norman. Um, I will be your host and GM for these <coughs> next four hours of your life, in which I'm hoping that you will spend with us. If not, we're gonna be some rockin' adventures and you're gonna miss some cool stuff. Woo! So, uh, yeah. Well, are you guys ready to play? Yeah. Let's dungeon. <laughs> Let's, Let's dungeon. Yeah. That's a catchphrase. That's a catchphrase waiting guys, to happen. Guys, that might be our catchphrase. Yeah. In case you didn't know. Solid. All right. So, you guys start in the middle of the barren wastelands of the. Ooh, hey there, Ivan. Um, Achaemenia Desert. All right. You have taken a job with a wayward merchant that is going to the city of Siraz. 
and your job has been to escort him and his uh, his trade um, through this perilous desert, which is known for being a hostile conditions and full of bandits. Right? I love escort missions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that you're you're essentially traveling alongside uh, this um, uh, this caravan at the moment, all right? And the merchant who is with you has uh, has several large crates on a, a single horse that is pulling um, uh, its its load behind it. But most interestingly enough, um, there's been one large crate that has had sounds coming from it during your escapade journey. Now, they've covered it with several tapestries, all right? And they, ha- and they haven't been willing to tell you what's inside. Well, they must think we're stupid if, if, we, if, we, if we don't think there's something in there. Right. But they're not willing to tell you what it is, but, Denida, I can tell you at least that it's definitely alive, all right? Oh, Whatever it is. Oh, dear. So, all right? Oh, I hate animals and entrapment. <laughs> so we got some live cargo. And we've got some just kind of standard produce and trade that's going into the city. All right. Okay. So, um, we. What would you guys like to do as part of your? Because we're we're starting this adventure several days, and you're only about a day, or uh, actually, I'm sorry, not even a day, like um, half a day away from Saraz at the moment. So, uh, can you describe the one of the wagons? The wagons. Okay. And it's just one wagon, right? It's one wagon. I think it's your character. So. There's a. I don't have to use the character voice. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> like it's, does the wagon? Is it a? Is it a canvas top? Is it a wooden? Or it's just an a open cart. top. It's an open top. It's an open top with four wheels that's being pulled by a single horse. Okay. All right. It's pretty a small load to have five adventures be guarding yeah. it. You know. So. Uh, I would think that Garthok is riding on top of something in that drinking. In that. Okay. Amazing. He is on top of one of the crates. I am on top of one of the. Crates. Let's have you make. Let's have you make a perception check. Real quick. Uh, let's see. That's an yeah. eight. And in, plus. Your, in your dice oh, bucket. Oh, okay. Well, still an eight. It's yeah. still, we're still we're still taking the roll. Ah, oh, because right, you rolled it. it. <laughs> All right. So it's an eight plus my perception is a plus two. All right. So that's ten. Okay. So as Garthok, weary from his, you know, all of his boots and his dwarven waddling that he's been doing. I don't like to walk. (laughs) (laughs) He plops his butt down onto a chair and you hear the horse neigh as the you know added added weight is now pushing itself through. I'm only 155 pounds. Can we say <laughs> the horse reluctantly. I'm four his feet leg. tall. Though. But you also hear the small whine of uh, something feline at the same time, just barely audible underneath the horse whine. So I, like a oh, meow. like the the cat's not in, under the horse. The cat's somewhere in the wagon. Right. The cat's in the box. You don't know that. <laughs> All right. I say, excuse me. Sig. All right. How are you guys holding the space? Where, where are you all at in the status of this caravan at the moment? I'm riding Mr. Pickles along the side. All right. Do, do we have mounts, or are we just walking? Uh, unless you brought a mount, which Miss, he did. So uh, looks like Garthok took the took the one seat on the wagon. So <laughs> thinking with his eagle eyes. Yeah. Watching out for yep, us. yep. 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 Unless you want to sit side saddle with uh, Mr. Pickles. Uh, I'll, I'll plod along boringly. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll be on the side with my, my ape. All right. What's Hope doing? Is he, just, is he just monkeying along next to you? Yeah, Hope's having the time of his life. He loves his freedom. <laughs> Not being in a cage. Right. Uh, I've taken off all of my armor and shield, and I've put it probably in the cart itself, and okay. I'm walking beside it. All right, cool. All right. So, um... Let's have everybody make a perception check at the moment. So we'll move that boy. table a little closer. It's a little hard for me to hit. Thanks, Carol. So what I'm doing here is I'm asking okay. them all to make a skill check that's based on their character sheet. Now, probably 25. a lot of you have actually played role-playing games, but I'm ex- doing a lot of these explanations just based on if you had not joined us in a game before. All right, so what are we at? Oh, my God. It's a do you want us to go around each one? Yeah, let's tell me. Go around your numbers. Eight. Eight. I haven't rolled it. Uh, eight. Eight. Oh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Nine. Nine. Ah. Ten. Ten. Yay. All right. I won. So, um, Denida. <laughs> we should point out that Denida has a plus 12 perception. Whoa! Wait a minute, you're, you're uh, level three. Yeah. Hold on, it's, it's legit. It's, oh, it's my, legit? it's a class skill. It is. Uh, my wisdom is plus three. And she's I'm sorry, I, I forgot. We did everything legit I because also, we're doing this. Yeah, you I know? got a skill point. Yeah, it's been fact-checked. All right, so Denida, you mm-hmm. here 
the sound of someone crying for help on the dune to your immediate left. Is it a cat in a box? It's not a cat in a box. It sounds like a young woman. All right? Okay. Uh, and she's screaming in terror. Oh, oh no, my ears, oh, the, my poor ears, they hear the cry of a damsel. Who, who on earth could be torturing a little lady? That's not a thing that happens. What are you talking about? Oh, there's a woman in trouble. They're always... I'll sort of rear up Mr. Pickles and go like, what? <laughs> there's a woman in trouble who's not me. All right, what are we going to do? Send in the dwarf. Send in the dwarf. You're rested. You what? Karthok, attack! Sick him. Where did you hear this? On a dune. Where? There. Okay. All right. And I do so you want to go investigate the sound, uh, Garthok? I do. I'd li I would like to have so a companion with me. All right. Oh, so Denida and Garthok are going to go investigate the sound. Can I get someone other than this foul-smelling wench? <laughs> no, I'll no. come wow. with you. Wow. Okay. All right. Denida, Garthok, and Spud yeah. are all going to go visit. All right. Okay. So right. Um, you guys kind of lift yourself up uh, the, the crest of the dune, kind of getting over the side. And as you rise up above the dune front, you notice nothing. Oh. Oh, boy. It's just barren waste. What's wrong with your no, ears, woman? No, don't put this on me. I know what my ears heard. All right. And let's have you make a percent. Actually, let's have you make a detect magic real quick. No. Oh, detect magic? Back, yeah. You're back at the Ooh. cart? Oh, I'm sorry, not detect magic, your spell. Um, it's how do you do spellcraft. Shoot. Spellcraft, you My got God. it. Got it, dude. 20. 20. Oh, awesome. Mind. So, Ghetto 20. as you're kind of looking off to the side, um, uh, wow. Steve? Steve. Steve. Thank you, Steve. As you're looking <laughs> off to the side. I'll get everybody's character names by the end of this. Uh, We've only been playing this character for like six months. <laughs> right. You notice as, a, as two bolts of fine light stream through the air and strike the horse right into the neck. Not Mr. Pickles. Not Mr. Pickles. Oh, thank God. The merchant's horse? The merchant's horse. And it neighs as it flops over and does its roll, its death roll, onto the ground. Shoot. And suddenly, three men lift up to the side of the, the right-facing dune. Oh, they they Sand they people. hijinks. Sand us. people. And they start running down the hillside towards you. Know, you. Single file to hide do, their and tracks. Do we, since, and do we send, uh, notice them coming? Well, you hear the the horse neigh. Okay. Absolutely. All right, to the we're side. coming. I'm I'm running back. They're right. Tuscan raiders, Ben. All right, now we're rolling initiative because you guys are in combat, yo. Yes. Right. First combat. First combat. I'm game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Roll first. Oh! <laughs> but they're, clear these they're all doing initiative, but because these guys got the surprise, they'll get first round on all of you. I'm such nice. an idiot. I should never trust anything the DM says. All right. Never Pass trust anything the DM says. <laughs> Slippery one, isn't it? All right. All right, so do we have our rolls? Yep. Yes. Yeah. All right, so let's sound off. Korok. 17. Korok is 17. 17. Garthok is 22. Garthok is 22. Denida's nine. Denida is what? Nine. Nine. What is? Spud is 11. Spud's 11. All right. 16. 16. Oh, you should be like the fastest, but you're not the fastest. Okay, so um, are we deciding that Hope's gonna go at the same time as you, or do you want to yeah. roll Hope uh, different? Hope's with me. Hope's with you, okay. All right, so let's get our oh, chair. Um, all right, so we have a dune front like this, and a dune front like this. Here is our sad and dead horse. All right, with the cart. Oops, that's a three by three. Is that like a pile of blood, or what is that? That's its horse head. It's just they put on a lot of weight, guys. Come on. Okay. Be nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> it looks really bad when it gets hit by magic missiles. So. James Baxter. <laughs> James Baxter. Um, John, so will, we have. Oh, so. I'll say that your name, Steve, is trumped by Mr. Pickles. So every time I think of your character, I think of Mr. Pickles. Far yeah. more memorable. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That's you always remember the mount. Oh, we're really never, far away. Never the righty. Yep. Right. That was the right. whole plan. Yes. Oh man. Always the righty. Who, who was writing Secretariat? No? Twitch oh, TV man. users? You guys know? No. Wait, what? 
Huh? Oh, is that a reference? We'll get an answer. Secretary, it was a horse. Someone will reply with, with but they're going to look it up on Google. No right. looking it up on Google. <laughs> so we have three bandits. Ah, uh, banditos. Oh, banditos. No. Running no. down the hillside oh, towards no. you gentlemen and ladies. And they will get their first. Is it just this one wagon? Yeah, yeah. do we have any? Yeah. Uh, Some of them. We're Was the there anyone with us? No, we're the security, you guys. Yeah, wow. Are, yeah. are we the driver too? No, the, no, the driver no. is in the, with the merchant, but the merchant's not. He's he's in the back doing uh, driving the horse. He's worthless. And he's freaking out right now. Yeah. Because this is wow. what you, this, this was your guys' job. You were supposed to prevent. Oh, had this. one job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, um, Denida. All right. Denida. I, yeah. I still stand with my decision. What if there had been a woman? <laughs> what if? So uh, we're not getting paid to protect women. All right. What is um, the wizard who is left by himself. <laughs> yeah, oh yes, dear. thank you. Dom, one of them, this guy is going to, oh, he actually, he's actually not close enough to take a swing at you yet. But he's right on you, five feet away. So let's start with Garthok. Garthok? Yes. Uh, how far is this? Uh, looks like five it's about feet. five feet per square. So it looks like it's about eight. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, sorry. So that's 50 feet? Yeah, but yeah. I don't know if you want to step over the horse. I would leap over the horse. Yeah. Yeah. Dwarves uh, are known for their leaping. I'm. I have acrobatics. <laughs> He's a tumbling dwarf. <laughs> so what I'm doing is while they're deciding kind of how they want to start this engagement, is I'm making my notes because I'm also rolling the initiative of the characters that are um, NPCs that they are battling against at the moment. Would I be able to make it and in this turn fight? No. Okay. You can move six squares uh, and draw your weapon if you want. Unless okay. it's already drawn, I don't know if you stated it. Um, I just, I haven't yet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would just I would move, well, I guess we well, can, can I use your run? speed. Your speed is... You can six. run it, you can double, you can double your movement, but take no other action. Yeah. You know? You can move twice. That's worth it, they didn't take an action So I, since I, I, I'd just oh, be okay. without a weapon if I doubled. Exactly. You'd basically run up there in your Garthocky way, and then as soon as you got close enough, then you would draw out your weapons and... He's not close enough to charge. You, you would Again, also no. be able if to put charging, on your game face. Oh, really? Well, you have to be moving yeah, forward towards the object. Okay. You can't move away okay, and so charge. Do I count this square? Yeah, count it yeah. up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> now, if you're going to leap over the horse, I'm going to ask you to make an acrobatics check. You could get tumble, uh, caught on the horse. <laughs> if, I I leak, if I leap if this, that does happened. that yeah. count as square? So, 5, 10. 40. So if I run, I would be able to leap, and that'd be my action. Right. You would essentially well, leap you over the dead horse yeah. in a ready stance, ready to go. Oh, you know I'm going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm going to do that. All right, so make your acrobatics check. All right. Uh, a wild Garthok appears. A wild Garthok appears. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's a, that's a two with a negative one. So one. All right, so Garthok, in a moment of, of, of pure comedy, Runs up ah! and he tries to do his most badass leap over the horse, <laughs> only to get half a foot off I the ground. I slip on the blood. <laughs> yeah. And tumbles, and you're prone. So you're gonna have to get. You're gonna take a turn to get up. Yeah. So. That's Meanwhile, awesome. Mr. Pickles rolls his eyes. <laughs> All right. We need a pickles. Uh, I know we need a little Denied pickles. Denied laughs at him. Cork, <laughs> Cork and Steve go simultaneously. Uh, what's your dex? Higher than mine. You go first. Fifteen. Okay. I, got yeah. I go first. All right. Uh, so have I have this guy right next to me. It's I have a this, desert. This what dude is mean? right next to me. Yeah, he's totally. He's five feet away from you. He's coming up. He's charging with his uh, with his long sword in hand, with his black bandito cape oh. flailing behind him. He's Damn. What you call well, a ninja? Racist. I'm no thinking badges. I'm going to uh, I'm going to sleep him. Sleep oh, him. Oh yeah. Yep. Throw sleep. Yep. All right. I'm gonna throw sleep up, uh, and uh, I will make resistance for him. Yes, please. All right. This is save, save. Will negates. Will negates. DC 14. 14. He is out like a light. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> you, you charge forward. Yes. Uh, okay. Actually, I realize that there is a. Um, He'll actually get a, well, the, actually he'll get a free strike against you first because he has an attack of opportunity since you're casting a spell within five feet of him. So oh, yeah. You, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh and yeah. It will actually well, force you to make a concentration check as well too. All right. So um, right now we have a rogue charging uh, Steve here, 
who ran up and he wants to cast sleep and throw you know his spell in his face. But since he's so close already, he still gets a chance to swing at you for an attack of opportunity, and then you'll have to make a concentration check to make sure you're not so flustered from the attack to to be able to get it off. So let me do his attack real quick. What's your D, what's your AC? My AC is twelve. Twelve. Okay, so oh. he misses. Yes, right? he does. <laughs> <laughs> but now you got to make your concentration check. But I but you you said you've got. Um, so I have the feat combat casting, all right. which gives me a plus four to my concentration uh, checks. Great. So I'm going to roll, this is a d20 roll for concentration checks. Yep. Mm -hmm. So here we go. That's a nine. All right. Are there any other bonuses that I get to add to a concentration check? Uh, well, besides your besides concentration plus ranks, plus four. No, that's, that's about what it is. And if I remember, if you're being attacked, I'm trying to decide what the DC would be for something like that. Yeah, here we go. Um, cast Public defensively. Mm, it would, no, it doesn't go off. Sorry. Dang it. Dang right. it. So I, I lost the spell, basically, is that? That is true. You lost a spell. Okay. So, um. <clears throat> wow. Yes, ma'am. So there's some What's plants that just fell asleep and oh, maybe right. a rock or two. Right, sand. well, you threw the sand in his face. Because uh -huh. you, you, you dodged his attack, but as a result, you making it um, just kind of went outside of his area of effect. You yeah. weren't able to channel the magic great enough in order for, he just got a little woozy as he was trying to swing at you. So, all right. Okay. So that takes us to Gork. He did all right. this. He did this and walked back up. All right. Uh, that always works. <laughs> he splashed cold water in his face. I'd like to go ahead and move my guy here, grab his shield, and, uh, and just kind of shout at them like, hey, come on, over here. So you're grabbing your shield? I'm grabbing my shield at least. Okay, and you're and you're taunting him. I, I want to try and taunt both of those guys. Like, come here, come All here, right. cutie pie. Come here, cutie pie. All right. Cutie pie. Done. Um, now that brings us to Spud. Hey, but, 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 it's Spud. What's Spud? Okay. Um, Spud man He's is going to sitcom. move six paces toward uh, these opponents. Um, right. Actually, let's do the last one over this way. Okay, right in front of the, the dead horse. Good. Yeah. That's uh, cover. Partial I'm cover. gonna yeah take partial cover behind the dead horse, retrieve my sling, uh -huh. and fire a sling stone at this uh, a hole right there. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. PG curse word. Okay. Hey, yeah. yeah. that's probably gonna hit 21. Oh yeah, you hit. Boom. Do some uh, damage against him. Okay. Because it's a rock. Roll your. Feel the thunder. Lungs. Oh. <laughs> you did it too much. Okay, uh, it's a three. 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 All right. Any so, Spud, <laughs> you. You know, double time it over and crouch behind the horse. And <laughs> that thing arcs in a beautiful round, and you watch it as it clocks him oh. on the side of the head. And since he was in full tilt run, he makes his own acrobatic check, and he stumbles a little bit. Doesn't fall down, okay. but he is he is he is uh, he is um, debilitated for the next round. So, yeah. and All he right. also takes four I'm damage. Here. So, <laughs> no, no, come back, come back. Um, okay, cool. Um, That's the coolest thing I'm going to do all game. <laughs> yeah. My cloak was billowing as I ran down the sand dune. Just like they didn't hair. expect another rogue. Yeah. That's what oh, they did. All what's right. Up? Uh, so, um, all right. So now we're back to full initiative, which includes the banditos uh, as well, too. Oh, didn't do that. Denied. My bad. She denied. Denied. And hope. And hope. But denied and hope. Okay, so she's going to move. Um, she's just going to be. Two, three, four, five, six. She's just going to be here. So that was one, two, three, four. Okay, and, um, and she's gonna cast a burning gaze. <laughs> Jokes. Um, all she has to do is look at him. Look at him. Yeah, look at him, and it's a and I basically like look at him. It's like eyes of death and fl eyes of flame death. come Except out. Except it's burning. Death. Yeah, yeah. You What's the range? On? Um, it's thirty feet of my okay. location, and You're barely in range. Yep. Un, uh, okay, so they it's a, they have to do a fortitude. Fortitude save, DC 15. 15, all right. And it's him, it's and middle, it, it just middle hit, guy. it hits, right? Yep, it, it'll right. just hit, it's 1D6. I'll make my fortitude save, which he makes. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. You just have to beat those. Does it, does, uh, does let's it, see, it, if they... Does it just reduce damage, or does it... If they are damaged, but no, later on they have to do a reflex save if they are, if they do catch on fire, but... So he doesn't catch on fire, but do you still uh, do as long as, uh, is, is, is it... No. No, I think I just lost a spell. <laughs> we just lost a spell. Oh, yeah. uh, oh well. 
Um, yeah. Well, he, he kind of shielded his eyes from you as he lifted his cloak up. No. And, and I think I think I'm just nearsighted and I and I looked like right there. <laughs> <laughs> so. Also, isn't she look? She's doing the burning gaze over the wagon. No, no like, I, I could have been on. Well, like, she's also in the okay. corner. She could peer around the bridge. Hey, okay. what, who's right. are you on? I'm just, yeah, I'm just side team are bandit over sorry. here. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, guys, sorry. All right, you Hope. Should be. What's Hope doing? Oh yeah, great. So um, Hope, Hope is just running. Here's Hope. Okay. Ooh. So Hope is just running, and he can't do anything right now. He just did full tilt. He just did full. Let's do an acrobatic running. check for him because he's going over that. Uh, oh great. That um that item as well too. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, and then Garthok, you're going to be going right after Denida again. So That's okay. dex, right? Oh, he's got a plus four dex. 12? Yeah, 12 will make it. Okay. So he just runs so up. So he just, he just lumps up and um, actually, <laughs> as Hope like leaps up on top and jumps off, his foot catches oh, on great. the tapestry that no. had been covering the item uh, that oh, is yes. in, in, the, uh, in the crate the entire time. As it pulls down, you see a gigantic, not a gigantic, but a decent sized um, saber tooth cat. The like, entire crew goes, aww. <laughs> and it hisses and rawr. And we all, we all do it again. Aww. That is a decent sized cat. That is if, a decent sized cat. If you want to get internet views, you have to have a cat. <laughs> so, I mean, this is the internet. There has to be a cat. So. But you said it was, fe he heard feline whining. Like, he was like, Meow. No, not that bad. All right, so there it is. Oh, God, he's adorable. Look at him just pawing at things meow, meow, those huge meow. And, it's wood, and it's wooden cage at the moment. Wow, so. wow, oh, wow, that wow. tears me apart. Okay, it so, will. Garthok, <laughs> yes. what's up? So, I tripped over a dead horse. Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> I'm prone. You're what can prone. I do from prone? You can get up. That's it? And then can you I can, draw? You can get up and draw. Okay, I get up and draw. Okay, so you've, res you've resumed some dignity by getting yourself up and then drawing. I wipe some your hands. of the horse blood off of me. <laughs> All right, guys, thought, good round. All right. <laughs> um, Actually, we can have you roll for that. Korok, Steve, and one of the banditos that's going to go first. So, Steve, why don't Moi? you start us off? I've got a, I've got good news about my burning gaze later. So. Oh, okay. yeah. Cool, There's no such thing as good news about burning gaze. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> You're um, on my team. I'm not looking. All right, I'm, I'm going to use, uh, um, I'm just going to, so my, uh, my little sort of semi-staff club thing, yes. its name is Agrimus. Agrimus. Because that's a proper <laughs> fantasy name. Right. Uh, I'm going to launch it with my uh, Hand of the Apprentice, which, okay. is, which is one of my powers. I'm going to launch it at somebody. Okay. Um, and, oh, no, let's see. And so it flies. And it makes a single attack uh, using weapon. Uh, yes, it's treated as a ranged attack with a thrown weapon, except that you add your intelligence modifier on instead the attack roll instead of the dex. Let's so, see that roll. OK. Here, look at that. Hey. Hey. 15, so 18. All right. Huh. All right, so you're going to throw it, but again, we're going to have to make sure that we can do that. He again gets an attack of opportunity, and since you're, uh, is, hand press isn't a spell though, right? It's not. It's not a spell. It's a. Okay. It's, a it's a power. It's so an you ability. want to make the concentration check, but let me. He's still going to take a swing at you. Okay. And since you're right there, what's your AC? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, so he hits. No, 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 Show sure, I blame the druid. Uh, take three damage. Three? Yeah. Jeez. Are you still this isn't no fourth edition. Pathfinder three is a lot. Yeah. So how much? How much? Uh, how are you? I'm good. So, so what he does is he takes his he takes his uh you throw your your um uh, your rod at him and again it hits him so you get damage to him as well too. So roll your damage. Let's see how you how you exchange blows here. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. You too. So hard though. Yeah, what do we got? Oh, boom! Six. That's a six yes. plus, uh, right. plus. So in a wild swing, as as basically the staff just comes right for his face and throws <laughs> his head back. His wild swing goes a little wide, and it just scrapes you across the front of your chest. Oh. My chest! And you feel kind of the wet blood trickling down the front of your chest as your robes now start to get dirty. <laughs> so. Um, so yeah, so you, we exchanged some blows there. Uh, is it a full six or is there a plus? There is a, there is a bonus. It's a, a oh. plus two. So. Plus, oh, wait, eight, so it's, eight, so it's eight, eight damage. Eight. Oh. Monster. 
If it's eight damage, then he is out. Hi. Yeah. Hi. You basically, you, you hit him. Bye-bye. You hit him in the in the back of the head, and his head just flew back, and he is out like a light. Who needs and a fighter? I just make a I quick know who take. Needs a tank. Magic. <laughs> Magic man. Me. Um, Sorry, so he's out. Illusion. Um, now we have uh, uh, actually Cork. I believe you would go first. What I, I've got a uh, my dex is a zero. Oh, your dex is zero. The, this guy's gonna go. So he's yeah. gonna come up here, and he he took your he, he took your top. He swings his sword come at on. you. Oh and wait, he I'm not wearing armor. Brings it down onto you. Okay. All right. Bring wait, it on. How is your dex a zero? Well, he, he, I, I his dex 10. is ten, so his I have modifier. Zero modifier. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Ooh, that's a cocked. What's your AC? What you roll? It's 11. It's 11. He gets you. Oh, that's pain. Oh, because you didn't right. bring your armor, right? No, I took off my armor. It's the desert. It's hot. Okay, so he, he, uh, so he takes his sword, and you put your shield up, and it clangs down onto you, but the force of the weight makes sure that it still cuts down oh. into your shoulder a little bit, Ugh. and you're holding it against your, your chest mm-hmm. doing so. Take three damage. Okay, I will survive that. I'm not a wizard. All right. Um, all right, now we're back to... Denida. No, it's still theoretically Korok. He's going at the same time. Yes. So. Okay, I'm going to smack him in the face with my mace. Smack him in the face? Uh, I know I should do that in the box, but that is going to be a 19 versus AC. That hits. All right. Oh, do eight damage. So you. So what are you doing? I do Punch eight damage. Face? I'm hitting him with my mace you in the face. Mace. Oh, in the face. Mace okay. in the face. Yes. All right, so how much damage? Eight, eight damage. Face. Okay, so taking that blow, as it uh, cranes down onto your shoulders, you lift him up and yeah. then crack him on the side of the head That's adorable. With the mace. Wow. And he flings himself down oh. on the ground. Out. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. Now we've got Mr. Um, now, I'm sorry, we now have Spud. Spud. No, 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 I'm sorry, this is this guy's turn. Oh. This guy's turn next to Hope. And he's got a, he's got an ape right in front of him. Hope doesn't care. So he as he runs forward, he actually you watch as you he pulls out um a small pouch and he winds up and attempts to throw it onto the cart. Um, but he's gonna get but Hope's gonna get an attack of opportunity because he's within five feet of him as well, too. Okay. So go ahead. Uh, he's gonna claw twice. Okay. Wow. I mean monkey. He can attack Night. once, he can claw twice, okay, he can sure. just one attack. Well, I say twice, so, uh, no. <laughs> uh, 19, 19. He hits. Um, so, Hope just, like, like tries to latch onto him while he's pulling out whatever he's trying to get to get ready. Okay, great. So. Uh, and that's a D4. D4? Plus two is a three, five. So, all right. Five and then you, and you get to do it twice, three right? Three to this guy, too. No, I can't do it We twice. did three to him? Yeah. He, no, you did three. To, oh, no, yeah, because the no sling. Way. That's right, because I wrote that down. Because I'm smart like that. Yeah. Um, action. If you're not moving, I think. <laughs> so <laughs> as he lifts the pouch oh, yeah, up, no, right. Right. Hope just, just latches onto him and just 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 starts wailing on him over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> and he is caught. You hear the word. You hear the words. Not my druid. <laughs> not my druid. And he fumbles the pouch. Out of his hands, and it falls onto the. Um, it's not a pouch, actually. It's like a big old vase, like a glass vase, mm-hmm. and it a falls vial. onto the floor, um, and ignites into a ball of fire. Oh, oh no! So, oh. Oh. All right, so hope you're flammable. That's flame. Wow. So he's dead, and and um, hope's got to make make a acrobatics check to get out of there, or a reflex save theoretically. Oh yeah, a reflex save yeah. for fire. Um, <laughs> Is that Greek fire? So it's okay. <laughs> uh, Sixteen. 16? Yeah, he makes it out. So Hope, he bails on, but as soon as the fire explodes, Hope leaps off of him. <laughs> as you watch, as you hear this smell the smoldering flesh of the rogue as he's burning in his own fire. Cool. That would have been a horrible way for Hope to go. All right. Yeah. So you, um, uh, what's that? Oh, that's the fire. Yeah. <laughs> Hope is so scared of so, fire. So, uh, okay. Um, Spud. Yo. It's you. There's nothing yeah. to do. I know. There's a saber tooth right there with the fire. Move the bodies! <laughs> okay. I go through his pockets. You go through oh, his you pockets. You find three gold. Oh, wow. Um, uh, and he has a long sword, and he's just got like leather with his with his cape. But it's all kind of beaten up garbage. So. All right. Uh, all right, so you guys watch as over like on the dune where the, guys. the guys have come from. You watch just like a fourth figure pokes his head up, like, whoop, and looks over the dune. It looks at the three dead bodies, 
that are in front of him, he turns and he just runs away. Nope. <laughs> so Hope, Hope like, pounds his chest. No, not again. Oh. No, not again. <laughs> I, I, I go after him. You go after him? I'm really? Gonna go after him. Yeah, right. He's going to go after him. Hey, I'm going to go after him. All right. So, um, I can't have all the fun. That kind of takes right. us takes us out of this round. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back, and then Cork Storm Pharaoh, is going to go, or what is it? Yeah. Sunder Dark. Sunder Dark. Cork Sunder Dark is going to run after that last, last different rogue. I want to tell you the good it. news about my burning gaze. It yeah. lasts, since I'm level three, it lasts for three rounds. So I can basically go like this, and then next <laughs> round keep looking <laughs> at it, and the next <laughs> round keep looking. Or Got like, it. Yeah. Look at whoever Look, I want. So but it's, it has, it's only one. It it's only, it's only for one. You can awesome. spread the gaze around. But I do, yeah, I can't spread the gaze. Um, but I do want to take an, a, a rest so I can have that, because I love that. Okay, so, but we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll come back and we'll see the result of this little bandito fight and hopefully make it to the city of Siraz without any issues. Yeah. Welcome to Saving Throw Episode 1. I'm Amy. I'm Ben. And I'm Ivan. We've got an entire RPG to teach you guys and only nine episodes to do it, so we'll just jump in. Good? Good. 